on YouTube. This game is Graphics Pack in the building with another GTA 5 PC tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to properly install Scriptlet V. And also I'm going to be showing you how to install Native UI and Lua. Now these are some scripts that you're going to need to uh, be able to play these mods on your GTA on PC. Okay, I'm going to repeat that one more time. This is for Grand Theft Auto on PC, all right? So let's start off with script hook V, all right? Uh, you want to go to the page. I might have about four links down in the description. The first one will lead you to script hook V. You want to check it out uh, right here. It says that the last released update was on the 28th of July of the, uh, last month. So you want to go right here to click download. Once you download that, you will get a zip folder right here. Next, the link will be uh, community script hook. This is script hook v.net. All right. You will uh, click the second link down in the description. It'll lead you here. I'm going to click on download, prompt you to another page where it will be asked you where to download it. Or you can just go ahead and click the latest one right here. And click on the zip once you click on the zip you'll download this zip right here next link will be native ui the link will lead you right here click download once you're done downloading you'll have a zip right here go to lua plugin click download just like the rest you'll have a zip right here now once you're done downloading on those four links i will leave down in the description you want to go ahead and find your grand theft auto game files okay Mines is with Steam, so I'm going to show you how I find mine. So I'm going to click on Windows C, Program Files 86, scroll down to Steam, go down to Steam Apps, and click on Common. And right here you will see my Grand Theft Auto 5. It should be the same for you if you have Grand Theft Auto 5 through Steam. Now that we're inside of our Grand Theft Auto directory files, as you see, I already have my scriptbook bees and uh, scriptbookb.net installed, but I'm going to go through it again just to show you. Let's start off with scriptbook v. All right, we open up. Uh, let's put it on this side. All right, so I have my uh, Grand Theft Auto directory files on the left hand side, and then I have the scriptbook v um, files on the right hand side. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going, oh no, it's scriptbookv.net, excuse me. Let's go to the regular scriptbookv, there we go. All right, now that we have the scriptbookv file open, you're going to see uh, three things. It's going to say bin, then it's going to have a readme file, and it's also going to have a uh, shortcut to, uh, to the developer's uh, website. We're going to click on the top file, which is bin, it's a folder. Once you click on it, you're going to have three more files inside. Dimput8.ll, native trainer.asi, and the third one, scripthookv.ll. All right, so uh, for this one, we're only going to need these two right here Dimput8.ll and scripthookv.ll. We don't need native trainer. Native trainer is, a, um, is actually a menu, um, a mod menu. You can feel free to use it and install it if you like. Um, I personally use uh, Menu and I use Simple Trainer. So you could go ahead and install this if you like. But if not, then just go ahead and grab these two files that's pointed out. Click, drag, and bring them over to your uh, GTA file directory and drop it. Okay. I already have it. I'm going to replace it just for the tutorial um, purposes. All right. Boom. There we go. All right. Now that uh, the script hook V is installed, we can close out that window. Now we want to bring up script hook V.net folder. Now, script hook V.net folder is a little bit different. It has five files total inside of the zip. First one is license text document, a readme text document, script hook V.net.asi, script hook V.net2, script hook V.net2.dll. All right, we're going to take these last three files, the ASI, XML, and application extension. We're going to click these three files, and we're going to drag them over to our GTA 5 directory and drop them. I already have them, so I'm going to go ahead and replace over these files just for the tutorial purpose. All right, now that we have our scriptbookv.net files um, installed into our directory, we can close out of the zip. And then we can go to native UI zip. Open up native UI zip. 
and it will have one file inside native ui.dll okay now this one is going to go inside of your scripts folder so let's hold off from this one real quick i'm gonna minimize this let's open up the lua zip right here okay now when you open up the lua zip it's going to have um, a scripts folder inside and it's also going to have a lua.asi okay now what we want to do is drag both of these files into our grant that photo directory all right gonna grab both of them and drag and drop um, I have them already but I'm not going to replace my uh, script files go ahead and skip that okay all right now that we have drag and drop these over in our grant that photo file directory we could go ahead and clip click on this excuse me click on the scripts folder once we have the scripts folder opened up uh, you only have about I think three three files um, I already have a lot of stuff in my scripts folder but just to show you what's going to be in the scripts folder you're going to have add-ins and you're going to have uh, lips right here keys main and I think this one right here so you're actually going to have uh, five five files inside your scripts folder from Lua all right now once your Lua is installed you can click out of your uh, zip folder for Lua let's go back into our native UI now that we have our scripts folder open we want to drag the native UI file and click drag and drop into our scripts folder that's inside of our Grand Theft Auto file directory all right since I already have it I'm gonna go ahead and skip this one all right now that we have uh, script hook v and script hook v.net in Lua and native UI we're all good to go to install our mods okay from this point on you can go ahead and install any mod menu or install any script that you like I will make future tutorials on how to install scripts and how to install different types of mods including uh, add-on cards and replace cards and uh, add-on pads and replacing pads all right so make sure that you subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for that smash that like button if this helped you out a lot and uh, I will see you next time around